Okay, before I start today's RetroBat setup guide and how to use Netplay, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too, for which I'm always really grateful for. So yes, we can actually use Netplay for RetroBat and what this means is that providing you're using the same RetroWatch core is another user and you're using in the same copy of the game you can virtually play against each other so I'm going to show you how to set this up so what we're going to do first is first of all just put some games into the retro bat directory so just right click on it open file location if we go to ROMs what we're going to do from here is drag and drop some Super Nintendo games and some Mega Drive games so obviously we're going to go for the process of just looking for those folders so Mega Drive and what I'm going to do here is just drag and drop a few Mega Drive games in. So primarily those games really, which has got uh, two player features. So we're also going to go to SNES and I've got a few Super Nintendo games here as well. So just drag and drop and that's it. So we got some suitable games just there. What we're going to do next is open up RetroBat. Okay, first thing we're going to do then to enable Netplay is once we're inside a retro bat, just press your start button, which brings you into main menu. From here, we're going to go to game settings. And from game settings, we're going to drop down to Netplay settings. If we go in there, just make sure enable Netplay is actually checked. And we can give this a nickname as well, so other users will know you by name. So let's just type in just Jamie here. And what I'm going to do next is just OK that by going to the tick. And the next thing we're going to do is need to do something called index games. And what this is going to do is filter the games which are available for Netplay. So index games and systems included. Obviously, I'm using Super Nintendo and Mega Drive. So I'm going to go to start. And once you've done that, what we're going to do is then go back into a game. And I'm going to hold down on Street Fighter Alpha 2, my A button. That's going to bring up a little window on the side, as you can see just here. And what we can see just here is start a netplay game. If I go into that, we can host a netplay game just here. Now, if you want to play, say, a two-player with a friend or whatever, you can actually make a password for this as we can see just here and what we can do whilst we're outside of the game folders if i hold down on my y button on my xbox controller it can actually tell us just here which games are available to use through netplay so as we can see just here street fire alpha 2 and we can actually watch a game if we want providing other people's playing it and we can also join in with a game just here and again, just like Sega Mega Drive, if I hold down my A button just here, start a netplay game. As we can see just here, we've also got options of publicly announced games. So if there's other people playing this particular game, which is the European version, if I make sure publicly announced game is actually enabled. So like I said near the start of the video, providing that you and a friend are using the same RetroArch core, you should be good to go with this. So to do this, just go to view options by pressing select, advanced system options under emulator. Now most emulators within RetroBat are on auto and normally the vast majority are actually set to auto. So in this case, say for example, you're using the Retro SNES 9X core, you need to ask your friends to use the same core. So that's it for today's RetroBat in Netplay setup guide. And I'm also going to remind you that when hosting a Netplay server, just make sure your network is either compatible with UPnP to automatically open up the right port, or you can actually define your own port in the settings. So apart from that, like I said, it's also mandatory that you're both using the same version of RetroBat as I'm recording this video. The current version, which I've done this video on today, is version 6.2.1. One. And just also remember that you both need to be using the same core within RetroWatch for this to happen. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also check out my immensely vast RetroBat playlist. I've done a hell of a lot for RetroBat over the past year, year and a half. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.